Hi there. My name is Elika Aird. I'm a yoga teacher and meditation instructor and one of the practitioners at Rafiki Wellness. I'm so glad to be here with you and take a few moments to um, come into the present moment, right? Nothing like the present moment. But you know what? There's so many things vying for our attention all the time pulling us into the future, maybe pulling us into the past, um, you know, and then we've got this thing up here, uh, this mental energy that's sometimes on its own, right? Going into the future, going into the past, um, weighing out different options, replaying stories, right? So sometimes, you know, it's other people and things trying to get our attention, and then sometimes it's our own self. And through the process of, you know, practicing meditation uh, with patience, it takes a lot of patience, we can learn to not be pulled in all of those distractions, uh, pulled into all of those distractions. Um, I'm in this 40-day meditation practice right now, and the teacher just suggested uh, the other day, you know, that we really look at some of our uh, behavior, behavioral patterns, um, you know, over this process of 40 days. And I already have noticed, um, you know, my tendency to put things off. Even this meditation I've been doing, I've been putting it off some days until late at night. And, uh, you know, why delay our greatness? Why delay something that is going to make us better, um, make us more uh, vibrant, make us happier, make us uh, more peaceful, right? But many times we delay our greatness for one reason or another. So I'm really glad to be here with you today. So if there's anything you've been putting off, anything that um, you've been procrastinating uh, and, um, and you're just like done with it, we're gonna set an intention today. And maybe this intention is about um, handling things quickly, swiftly, you know, to the best of our ability. It can be whatever you'd like, uh, but we're going to set intention together. So bring your hands to prayer and let's just breathe in and out through your nose. So through mindfulness meditation, we lower our blood pressure. Um, we help to relax our whole body. We relax our nervous system. There's so many benefits, right? And you might have one particular reason that you're practicing today. So let's focus on that, right? And let's affirm it. So you wanna say, I handle tasks quickly and easily, right? I handle my work assignments, my homework assignments quickly and efficiently, whatever you'd like to say, okay? This is your mindfulness time. What is your intention? Okay, breathe in and out for three rounds. And then release your hands down. Okay, so let's start just focusing on the breath. That's the easiest and the most practice, probably tool to first get you into a meditation practice, right? Why not use this wonderful tool that's right in your body? That's your breath. Okay, so let's sit for a moment and just notice the sound of your breath coming in and going out. Breath flowing in, breath flowing out. What sounds do you observe? Notice the sounds within your body. And now notice sounds outside of your body.
does one make you more curious than the other? Does one want to pull you into a story? Whatever you observe there, we're going to not judge it. It doesn't matter. Just come back to the breath, allowing it to flow in and flow out. See if you can make the inhale and the exhale about the same length. Let's try four counts in and four counts out. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Okay, go ahead and continue on your own. Just seeing what you notice. Keep that going, two more rounds. Okay, come back to your natural breath. So what did you notice there? That was probably pretty easy, right? We only did about five or six breaths. So when we have longer gaps of quiet, longer gaps of just sitting still, right? That's when the mind really can get more restless, right? And it's thinking, okay, what's next? Um, how long do we have to sit here? Oh boy, did I forget to uh, call my friend back? Oh, and I have an assignment I have to do. And all of a sudden, in all this quiet, this what some people call the peanut gallery, right? Just starts going off, right? All these thoughts, all these ideas. Um, and this is similar to something I observe with my clients. I work with um, families and I help families uh, bring their babies into the world. I'm a birth doula. And um, so moms often notice at nighttime, baby is very active, right? And then while they're moving out around through the day, baby's kind of chilling and they're feeling around. Is baby okay? Baby okay? But um, what many midwives uh, have shared with me is that babies uh, notice when you're still, right? So they're in there and they feel the stillness and they want your attention, right? So, you know, they're like, I'm going to come out and play. What are you doing? Your mind is kind of similar to that. You become calm and grounded. And if this is not normal for you, the body, the nervous system is like, oh, this feels weird. How long are we gonna sit here? What's next? What about blah, 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 you know? So we have to tame this habitual pattern. Um, or we don't have to say tame it, we have to maybe you know, bring a little more balance whenever we can. And so the first step is just noticing, right? Just your awareness, right? So we're going to let go of judgment. We're going to let go of criticism. We're going to keep the heart open and we're going to practice just being in the present moment. Okay, let's take a big breath. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> What's it feel like just being here, right? Let's imagine you have no assignments to do, you have no work to do, you don't have any meetings, uh, nowhere to be. You're just here, right? What does it feel like? Take another big breath. Exhale. Take five more breaths. Seeing if you can just be curious about what this present moment is showing you right now. Five breaths on your own. Good. 
Okay. So what did you notice there? Right? Maybe it's getting a little easier each time we take these little pauses. And I think one of the biggest things that helps um, new meditators is to really know that there's no way to get this perfect, right? That's not what we're here to do. We are here to practice being in this present moment as it is, right? If you believe this life is a gift, right? If you're grateful for breath, you know, for health, for your family, like why not savor it, right? And, you know, there's many different ways to savor the present moment. This is just one of them, okay? So we're going to sit a little longer now. And now we're going to bring in the soothing sound. So if you didn't do the other video, um, you have a couple of options, okay? Sanskrit is an ancient language from India, and you can chant the Sanskrit mantra, aham, A-H-A-M. Let's say it together, aham. Okay, and then you could say the English, which is I am, okay? And then you might just wanna add something on the end of that, right? So I am really connects us to our vastness. It wants us to never feel like we are small or limited. The I am is like this. Ah, the I am reminds us that at our core, we are good. At our core, that we are beautiful. We are divine beings, right? So that I am can just be as it is. Or maybe you like to say, I am love. I am peace. I am focus, right? I am wisdom. Okay, so you choose. So we're going to focus on the breath, coming in and going out. We'll start there and then we'll introduce the mantra. Okay, so just let the breath be natural. No need to control it. Feel the sensations around your nostrils. around your mouth, around your throat. And now let's introduce the mantra. Ah, hum. Aham. So this is an internal mantra, okay? You're gonna hear it inside. It might kind of correspond with the flow of your breath, but it's not necessary, okay? So come back to the flow of your breath and hear that sound inside, right? You might feel a little rumbling in your belly. You might hear your phone go off, God forbid. See if you can stay right here, okay? Invite yourself, stay just a little while longer, okay? And come back to that soothing sound, either ah uh, hum or I am. Ah uh, hum. Notice what it's like to be right here. Notice what the sensations are reminding you of as the breath flows in and the breath flows out. Sensations maybe of coolness around your nostrils. Thoughts of peacefulness. Whatever you notice, 
right? Whether they be thoughts of discomfort, thoughts of joy, see if you can come back to the mantra or soothing sound. Again, just notice, where's your attention at this moment? No judgment, no criticism. We're just practicing um, kind of uh, directing our focus, right? So distractions can come and we can sit still. There's a verse in the Bible that talks about having peace in the midst of a storm. And we're able to also feel that even just a little bit, right? There's a lot going on in our world right now. And, you know, some people might feel like, you know, they want to freak out. And it's okay to freak out, right? And then we can also choose to trust. We can also choose to have faith. We can also choose to be present. So come back to your breath. See if you can take a little fuller breath now. Okay, breathing in and out. And you might notice it's easier to stay present now. Okay, so let's focus on even breath. About three counts in, three counts out. When you get distracted, come back again to your soothing sound. Ah, hum. Or I am. So, again, just notice, how did that feel to be present? Do you know that when we are present, when we are not in a place of stress and worry and fear over the past or the present, excuse me, the future, do you know that our nervous system is much happier? and more balanced? Do you know that our immune system is much stronger? So we're helping our, our, our body and our mind greatly, right, by practicing these tools. You're helping yourself to stay 
uh, healthier and more vibrant and definitely will help you prepare you know, for exams and for focusing on um, your schoolwork, right? But we gotta practice. And some days the mind wants to run in all these different directions, you know? I still have those days after many years, okay? So we're going to, again, sit a little longer now. And, you know, sometimes one minute feels like eternity, right? So our last little chunk of time is about a minute. So now we'll sit for two minutes. Okay, you ready? Take a big inhale. And just exhale through your mouth. Let's just roll the shoulders up, back and down. Up, back and down. And one more. Okay. And then again, come back to the breath. Feel the rib cage now expanding and contracting like an accordion. Inhale, exhale. And let the breath be in your own way now, okay? You can stay with that even breath or stay with a more natural breath, okay? Either way, make sure there's no strain. and feel that flow of breath bringing your mind, your body into the present fully. And staying curious about the habits of our mind. Staying curious about what the present moment would like to show you. We often miss it when we're stuck in the past or fixated on the future. So let's just see. So coming back to your soothing sound. Let it anchor your attention in the here and now. When you find yourself in a story, forgetting where you were, it's okay. Just lovingly guide yourself back, giving yourself the same awareness that we can more easily give to others. Show that kindness and patience to yourself. Once again, just notice where you are at this moment. 
and come back to the soothing sound. Aham. Reconnecting you with your sense of greatness, your sense of inner power and resilience, your vitality, your sense of peace in the midst of a storm. Ah, um. Letting that soothing sound or mantra go and bringing your hands to your heart. And just breathe in and out. Noticing what you observe in your whole body. The legs, the spine, and of course, notice your mind. What thoughts, feelings are you observing in this moment? So thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this practice and that it is beneficial to you in so many ways. Namaste.